Hi, beauties and curls. It's Melissa Q. Thank you so much for coming back. And we are here for another video. Today's video is going to be our August favorites. August flew by. I feel like I just did July favorites, but pushing on, people, pushing on. And yes, it is time for me to wash my hair, but I am gonna rock this curly fro, okay? Today's video is favorites. We are talking about August favorites, and y'all know, I usually do the beauty boxes. I just want to take a moment and let you guys know that the beauty boxes, I'm going to make a separate video. I have been doing some unboxings, but in terms of reviews, I want to let you all know what's in the boxes, kind of like do a collab with all of the beauty boxes, kind of like a battle of the beauty boxes kind of thing and let you know which one is my favorite. But then also, if you are interested in beauty boxes, which one would be suitable for you? Let me know down in the comments if there is a beauty box that you would like for me to try. Currently, I have Fab Fit Fun, I have Ipsy, Boxy Charm, Sephora Play, Scentbird, and Morphe Me. Those are the ones. I haven't been coming with the Morphe Me because I don't really need a lot of brushes anymore I don't need brushes anymore but I will say if you want to build your brush collection that one is a great one I'm gonna separate this video and but I'm still coming with the giveaway in the favorites because I'm going to be talking about favorites from those from those beauty boxes I'm just not gonna be showing if I loved it if I didn't that's gonna be in a separate but I definitely still want to come with the ipsy giveaway uh, mystery bag here in this video so don't forget to enter down below y'all know how we do gleam okay getting into August favorites let's start off with hair so like this is my superhero dynamic duo this is Batman and Robin y'all I talked about this in my moisture protein balance video I'll link it over here so you guys can check it out but I have been loving the curl junkie repair me it bounced back my hair and I can tell that even my styles last longer and I know it's time to wash my hair but I love it I have not washed usually I try to wash twice a week but I've been washing once a week and when I deep condition and I deep condition every week you guys I have been using the coconut water penetrating hair treatment I have been using some other ones but this one I have been this has replaced my Shea Moisture High Porosity and I love that deep conditioner but this just topped it all is super duper hydrating if you are battling hair dryness this is what you want okay I do have a full review of this as well as the leave conditioner and the style setter I'll leave it over here so you can check it out but this is a za bomb you know what I'm saying this is good you know when you go like a couple of octaves up higher you know either you guilty or something is really good you know what I'm saying you know how somebody is asking you did you do that you like huh yeah you guilty but but if somebody says is that really good you like girl girl yes this is amazing so absolutely love this i'm just trying to make sure i don't have anything on my let's face. talk about some hygiene stuff because you know we gotta make sure sister girl is taken care of you know what i'm saying you'll know what i'm talking about when i when i talk about it. this is from sweet spot labs this is the great fruit verbena this is on the go wipes now you can use these wipes anywhere into anywhere you can use these under your arms you can use this like if uh, at the gym you can use this on the face these are 97 percent 98 percent natural I really do love these I didn't know I was gonna fall in love with these it is like naturally scented I like the scent that's in here I don't want to say it's naturally scented because I'm not sure but it does have cucumber, cucumber extract cranberry pineapple <laughs> okay we ain't gonna talk about that we're not gonna talk about that yeah yeah we're not gonna talk about it in this video this has pineapple in it it has some really it, it's just it's gliss it's ph balance glycerin alcohol free gynecologist tested ph balance you know what I am very sensitive in you know certain areas and this actually really does better than the aloe wipes from what is that from summer's eve i really do love these and ooh, these are so amazing so what i am gonna do is i i did get a a, a package for you guys from the event so i'm going to throw this into the giveaway these are amazing 
Okay, so I have been loving this dynamic duo. This is from Victoria's Secret, and I thought my Victoria's Secret days were over in terms of lotion and body cream, but this Victoria's Secret, this is the hydrating body lotion and the ultra-rich rich cream wash in pomegranate. This is a cotton moisture complex. These smell so amazing. Whenever I put this on, okay, you know what? If you want to get pregnant, wear these. If you don't want to get pregnant, wear these. <laughs> Even like the bottles. I got this during the Victoria's Secret sale, but I absolutely love these. And they just smell amazing. And um, I love that they have the steps one, two, and three. I did not pick up one. I think this body scrub was the number one, but I really do love these. This is the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk by Soap and Glory. Soap and Glory has been killing the game in the body products. Y'all don't sleep on Soap and Glory. They have been killing the game. This is the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk. It has almond, cocoa, yogurt, oat, and honey in it, and it smells so good. Oh my goodness. I love that I love lotions that have that little lock thing because Jojo tries to get into all my stuff seriously but I love this now y'all know the righteous butter is probably my number one the buttercream is number two and this I would say is number three this has kind of like a bakery scent but it's still like soft and I like lotions that if I wanted to go in with a perfume if I didn't want to wear a perfume I would be fine if I do want to wear a perfume it's not gonna clash and this one is going to pick up pr pretty much any note that you put on and just to let you know the layering of like a lotion and then a perfume or even an oil actually makes the perfume last longer that's just a tip if you didn't know but I absolutely love this I love these body products y'all from the drugstore I know some of you guys love to have drugstore options I tend to like higher end items but I just picked this up on a whim and all the lettering is off but this is the L'Oreal Revita Lift anti wrinkle and firming day cream this is so good and it has SPF 30 in it that's the reason why I picked it up but I also like the fact that if I hold it up to the light I can actually see where it is this is almost gone I had so many SPFs you guys but this one is a really good one I can actually feel it firming the Revita Lift line from L'Oreal in general because I had like a neck um, cream a night and neck cream that was really really good I tried that last year and I still remember that that's how good it is but this Revita lift if you are looking for anti-aging from the drugstore try the Revita lift by okay, so a few more skincare items I do have another one from the drugstore I have been really love this this is comparable to the max strobe cream this is the pixie skin treats glotion they do I tend to take this and mix it with that more that SPF moisturizer by L'Oreal that I showed you and it this is a brightening lotion so it has that luminosity in it I love that it's a pump but it has that luminosity it actually smells like the Maxtro cream as well but it has kind of like that luminosity I really do like this you could use it by itself and the thing I like about pixie is that they have like skincare benefits in their skincare literally you know it's just not a moisturizer it will tell you it has some like youth enhancing qualities to it ingredients to it so it's lightweight nourishing protecting and it's youth enhancing for all skin types it's a natural glow and it has a botanical complex in there so I really do like this if you uh, the max strobe cream and I want to say this max strobe cream you do get a little bit more but this um, you can pick up from the drugstore if you are thinking about um, that and yeah those are the ones that I have like really really been loving oh let me show you one more thing I have two more things in terms of skincare the Mario Badescu these are the facial sprays this is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is the cucumber green tea as you can tell I have been killing this one and actually I love to go in with these types of sprays before I either even put on a face oil or I even put on a face cream now what I have been loving and y'all I y'all know I love the origins this is a high potency vitamins refining skin refining oil by itself it's not good 
to me. Like the Nightmans with this was stellar because I feel like you're supposed is meant to wear used together. Usually oils are pretty good by itself, but this one doesn't really do anything unless you have, it's almost like an activator. I don't know if that makes sense because this duo, Lord have mercy. This is the L'Occitane. This is the Cream Comfort Light. This is a comforting cream. This is amazing at night with this. Okay, so first I put on the high potency Nitamins uh, Skin Refining Oil, and then I put on the Comfort Cream as my night cream. I can use this during the day too, but I tend to really like a, uh, a cream with SPF. If I use this during the day, I take a little bit because this can really make your makeup shift if you don't let it absorb in uh, a good amount of time. But this is so good. If you have dry skin, very dry skin, going into the fall and winter, this is a dynamic duo that is amazing. Amazing, amazing. And this is one of L'Occitane's highest sellers. They did send this to me, but this is definitely a product that I'm going to pick up after the, I run out of this. So it's really, really good. Okay, on to a makeup. Yes, I have been loving my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been using this as a color corrector. This is in the shade Biscuit. Now I use Ginger, which is brighter. It's one of the brighten, brightening ones, but I ran out of that one. And now I'm trying to use up this one. I've had it for a while, but let me tell you something. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, is worth the money because of how long it lasts too and a little bit goes a long way i really do enjoy this formula i love going back into my collection and really project pan has taught me to really love and embrace what you already have before you go out and get some other things that you don't really take time for what the things that you already have so i'm being very very grateful and really dipping back into my collection and i really realized that NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I don't think it was in my top, my high, my top five, but I don't know why I shied away from this. This is like back at the top of my top five, just because I think it was just because I didn't use it as much, but I love it. I've been loving these Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Micro Finishing Press Powder. I have been loving these. Okay, I have been loving, I, I use this one today when I don't really want a tint under my eye, I'm going to use the translucent. Now, I've been using them under my eye, but really, they're a pressed powder. You can use them on the face as well. I have been using yellow and the banana one and the white one, and I really like this one for brightening. I actually could take both of these, but I like this because I feel like it mattifies my under eye. Now with this one, I feel like it just really just, I wanted to go for a glow today. So I didn't want it to matte under here. I feel like that it set the under eye, but left the luminosity. I hope that makes sense. I really do really love these and I'm so glad that it's in a press form. I have been learning that I prefer my powders more so in press, although I do like loose, but I prefer pressed powders just because I can take these and these are on the go. I do have one for a darker shade and I'm gonna try this one for color correcting because it's that peachy orange shade. I'm sure if I put that on and then if I had to put on a powder under my eye that this would totally work. But I'm loving this and I love the luminosity that I'm getting. So I really do love it. Okay, speaking of Maker Forever, I'm going back to this. This is the Ultra HD Skin Booster. I use this today. If you are dry, if you have very dry skin, go pick this up. Go pick this up. I'm serious. This is worth the money. This is worth the coin. And it comes in a dropper. It like... You can put this in your patchy areas, you know, where you have that patchy dryness. This is going to very high, that's going to hydrate and you only need like two drops of this. But this is the Maker Forever Skin Booster. It is amazing. It is worth the money. Like I'm holding on to this for dear life during the winter months because right around my mouth area and my cheek area right in here is where I get the driest especially in the winter months I don't get like that right now but in the winter months if you want extra hydration if you want that dewy look if you want to feel very hydrated and feel like it feels like someone threw a bucket of water in a good way on my face and it just stays there and I could feel it kind of like really rehydrating my skin I don't know I can't explain it that's the best way but this is worth the money you guys worth the 
I'm going to talk about an illuminator now. I know a lot of people have been talking about the Do You Do Drops. I love those. Those are my favorite from Marc Jacobs. But this is what I have under my skin right now. This is the Josie Marin Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. It comes in a pump. I need to see if it's the same amount, but this is 0.5 fluid ounces, so it's not even a full ounce, but this is worth it. This you can put on by itself. You can put it on mix it with your foundation. You can put it on under your foundation. Today, I put it under the BB water and this is so good and the get ready with me with serene woo i actually had the dew drops on with that one uh in that video i actually have this one and really i cannot tell a difference that one may be a little bit more gold this one may be a little bit more champagne-y so if it's too bright for you and you're deep skin tone you might want to go for the josie marin because it's more champagne -y and more beige in it and i only use one pump and that covered my whole face i probably need to use half a pump but I really do like the luminosity that it gives my skin. I highly recommend this. I know the dew drops are still on Sephora while I'm filming this. But if you cannot find that anymore, highly recommend the Josie Marin. So this is the... Okay, so this is the mystery bag. Like I said, I will be putting this into the mystery bag. And I got a lot of goodies, y'all, for you. I always throw, I try to throw extra things into the giveaway. Like Ofra liquid lipsticks that are not particularly my color. I will put extra stuff. I hope you guys like that. Let me know if you like that or not in the giveaways. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting this in. Okay, in the boxy charm, I don't want to go through all of the items because there's so many different videos and like I said I will be doing unboxings separately so I'm not gonna have to go I'm not gonna go through all of that but I can tell you right now this is going to replace my NARS crystal translucent pressed powder this is the bare minerals translucent powder duo they have a matte and a glow I'm so glad that they did this y'all this one is matte this is glow usually I tap into both of these and then go into my under eye or I can put this over my face but I have bare minerals was probably one of the first brands that in terms of high-end that I got in contact well that I started purchasing from because you know if you're not into makeup you want something natural I definitely love bare minerals they have been they've outlasted the test of time and I feel like it's one of those test of time products and I really do enjoy this I'm so glad that BoxyCharm sent this to me so this is definitely one of my favorites uh, Netflix we got to talk about Netflix you guys I have been loving what have I been watching I've been watching rain like I said I'm still into vampire diaries but I have started watching Ozark I think that's what it said you guys gave me some good recommendations on the last favorites video so thank you so much don't forget comment down below and let me know where you watch it on Netflix too so the only questions I have for you guys that want to enter is shout out where you're from what state you're from what country you're from and let me know what you're watching on Netflix or on YouTube of course, you're watching me right now, but tell me what are some of your favorite channels. I would love to know that as well. So, yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you hadn't already, and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Yeah.